Okay, so today I am trying to make for dinner courgette flan. That could be fun. Um, according to the recipe, what I need is a courgette, an onion, some cream. The recipe says creme fraiche, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to be using UHT cream in a box. Some cheese, some eggs. It also calls for salt and pepper, but I haven't put those out on the table yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is chop up my courgette and my onion, and I'm going to fry them. The recipe says to steam the courgette and fry the onion, but I'm naughty and I really can't be bothered with that, so I'm just going to fry them both. I have chopped up my courgette and my onion and I have put them in a frying pan with some sunflower oil and I'm just going to cook them for a bit. Um, I'm not going to caramelise it, I'm just going to cook it enough that it's cooked and so that when it bakes in the oven it doesn't just go completely soggy and fall apart. Hopefully this could go horribly wrong but fingers crossed eh? So while my courgette and onions are frying, I'm going to get a bowl and I'm going to crack three eggs into it, mix in the cream and the cheese, see if I can do it one handed. Alright. I've never done that before, Let's see if I can do it twice. And oh, hang on, having difficulty with egg number three. There we go, egg number three. So the recipe says three eggs. I might put in four because I like eggs, they are delicious. Um, however, we are in a quarantine and we're not really likely to be going shopping for just eggs, so. I'll stick with three for now, and then I have to open the cream. Now that's going to be hard one-handed, because uh, I'm holding my phone. Oh wait, no, hang on, I think I've got it. Let's see, open the cream. Hopefully not put it everywhere. That would be a waste. Um, heh, this is a feat of um, precision, and something that I'm not the best at. But uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. So got the cream open, yay, and put the cream in with the eggs. It said 20 centilitres, this is 20 centilitres, so in we go. Mind you, it did say creme fraiche, I'd yeah, be fine. I'm going to go and um, stir the onions in the courgette a bit. Ooh, going brown, looking good. Right, um, back to my eggs and cream. I might need something to mix that together with, so I'm going to get a fork. There you go, one fork. Why not a whisk, you say? Because I don't actually own a very good whisk. The whisk that I have is um, half broken. I can't bring myself to throw it away, though, because it does whisk quite well. However, because... Um, of the simple nature of this dish, I'm just going to use a fork. There we go, all mixed together. I'm going to need some salt and pepper now. Pepper pot, because pepper is delicious. Um, yeah, I um, don't think I have a way of doing this without uh, putting the phone down. So, if I prop the phone, no, that's not going to work. Um, I'm winging it. I'm winging it. I can't do this one-handed. I'll grind the pepper in and um, film the next bit once I've got salt and pepper in there. 
love peppers, so I've put absolutely loads in there. I'm debating putting another egg in because it looks very, very creamy to me. Um, so I'll probably do that and have some salt. Um, let's see, where's the salt? The salt is over here. Get the salt. Get the salt. Put some in. Some. Such a precise quantity. Some salt, and yeah, I'm going to put another egg in that. There you go. Another egg. Mix that all together now. that looks better so now I've got my cheese I've got three cheeses it's a mix of Mazdam, Emmendale and mozzarella uh, you think you can pretty much use any cheese you want um, and I'm just gonna get a handful in just chuck a handful in it'll be delicious yum Everybody likes cheese. Well, actually, no, they don't. But um, if you don't like cheese, it can be done without cheese, obviously. Um, if you don't eat eggs or dairy, then you're basically um, not going to make this. So I've mixed my cheese in. Um, and now I've got to, well, stir my courgettes and onions and probably take them off so I'm going to do that mm, looking good mm, onions are burning slightly but that's not a big deal the courgettes are eh, almost done Time I have switched on my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I'm going to try and get an actual shot of that. There you go. And my oven um, works with you can either put the top on, the bottom on, or both. I've put on both. And um, I think my courgettes are done. So I'm going to turn off the heat. Um. I have a recipient, which is a bread tin. There's only two of us eating, so should be big enough. Um, and I am going to put my courgettes and onions into the tin. Yeah, this, this is not possible one-handed, so I'll have to start again in a minute. So yeah, I've put my courgettes and onions in the bottom of the dish. Um, so now I'm going to go back to my mix. Mix it up a bit, you know, the eggs and the cream and the cheese and the pepper and the salt. And it's very, very basic, very simple. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to take my fork, leave that in there for a minute, and I am going to pour over the mix, and the cheese will sort of go on the top, and um, get all of that into the dish. And then I'm going to stir it a bit so that we get, um, you know, courgettes and cheese sort of, and onions sort of equally distributed in the dish, though it's not really that big a deal. And then is gonna go in the oven for half an hour. Okay, so my flan is um, gonna go in the oven now. I've got it here and um, obviously the oven is hot. It's been heated to 180 degrees, so I'm just gonna pop it right in the middle. Like that. Voila, it is in the oven. Um, and now 
I've got to leave it for half an hour, so I'll be coming to check on it again at 20 past 7. Um, might be ready. Um, obviously it could not be ready then, but um, I guess that's the next step now. I've just got to wait. While waiting for that, I'm going to tidy up my mess and put stuff away. Okay, so it's 20 past 7 now. And I am going to check on my courgette flam. So, obviously, um, I'm going to need some form of grabby thing. So that I don't burn myself, because that would just be stupid. Um, now, they say that it's like a cake, so you grab a knife, stick it in. So, I have a knife. Cat, stay away from the oven. So, you grab a knife and you stick it in the middle. And if it comes out clean, which it has, I'm going to check all the edges. There they are. Ooh, yeah, basically clean. If it comes out clean, then it's cooked. So, let's get this out the oven without you know burning ourselves because well I don't know about you but I like my fingers there we are turn off the oven and there we have it one courgette flam very simple very straightforward um completely vegetarian and uh, hopefully delicious. We'll just have to find out later.